thing of beauty right there. Yep, exhaust is just all the way under. Jeez, lunkers. What am I gonna do with that kid? Down a little bit. Alrighty. Fishing freaks, welcome. The steam. The sunrise. It's all good. We got an MTB Pro Box with us today. We're gonna be taking a gander out here in just a minute. Check out Lunkers TV out here with me today. Feeling like this is one of those little magical mornings. Send it in, bud. Alright. Showing 56 right now, 56.8. That's a 10 degree difference from yesterday. What we have going on here is called the spawn. When that water temperature gets 60 degrees, these fish are moving up and doing their thing. We've got an MTB Pro Box with us today, so I'm gonna see what's in here that could be helpful to the spawn. I'm just gonna pause. Alrighty, I see something that I like here. In my ass? It's not that. Sight fishing, really like to use like small little creature baits, things like that. Uh, also lizards, craws. Right away I see some rage lizards in here. That is a thing of beauty. This is a, another compact creature bait right here. This is a, uh, this is called the Brute. This is the Smart Baits Brute, so compact creature bait. Another really good sight fishing bait, it looks like. Actually got one of these big swim baits, the uh, the Hypo Tees in here. This is a Weston Hypo Tees. We have another thing, across. okay. Three awesome little sight fishing flipping baits. This is the Ketchco Sawcraw. We even have a jig. All right, we're straight up set for, um, for fishing beds. We've also got a little search bait. This is the the runt. Dad gum, man. This is probably the best box that I've ever gotten. Um, you could pretty much throw whatever you want when you're bed fishing. I like to throw short compact uh, creature baits uh, and stuff like that, which we have right here. So that is a beautiful thing. Uh, we are gonna do some sight fishing here today, but uh, I'm gonna start off with this little runt. This is kind of like a little subsurface. Doesn't go very far down. I like to just put it on the end of my rod tip like that. Just kidding. This bait right here, you can kind of hold your rod tip high and you can get it to kind of almost, not be a top water, but just right under the surface and then try to crank it down, maybe bump some cover. Just put that rod tip down. Dude, I kind of want to put a jig and just flip these outside stumps. Here's what I rigged up. I just put on a jig. This is a Ketchco flipping jig right here. And I've got a little crawl on there. We've got these stumps lining the bank here. We know that there's fish that are on beds. A lot of male fish. And typically what you see this time of year, you got females sitting on those stumps and then they'll move up to spawn just depending on when the water gets just right. You can't see yet, the sun is high. All I'm doing is just taking this and I'm flipping it on this little tree line, trying to get one of these fish that's a little deeper. It's a, it's a good strategy. All right, we got a little sun now. We've got some fish swimming around. There's another one over here. I don't know if you can see that one. This is all you do. You look for little sandy holes. All you're trying to do is just throw your bait in there and, and watch, study the fish, see what it does. All right, male, female pair over here. I'm gonna pitch this jig in there. I'm gonna study these fish. The male's coming in. I think he might actually eat this. Turning on it currently. Females, she's kind of hanging back. Did she have it? Oh, they're both looking at it. Oh, dude, you, this is, you're about, you're about to connect. Oh my gosh, they're oh, both oh, nose down, dude. It? There's two techniques you can kind of do on these. You can throw like a real natural thing like I got in here right now. Because we can see decently, but something that's also good is to throw something real bright if you're fishing a little deeper bed or uh, you just want to be able to see the fish take it in. Every fish is different. Some fish won't eat the bright color. Some fish eat the natural colors. Every fish is different. It's always good to have a few different creature baits tied on. Battery died in the GoPro, but we're back in the game now. What is the sweet spot? Sometimes there's a little twig on there, a little patch of shells that they like to lay their eggs on. Oh my gosh, look at this. How's he not I don't know, he's like all pissed. We are going to switch up to a little creature. Something compact is nice. Well, this thing's a little crazy right here. This is that Smart Base Brute. It's kind of a bright chartreuse when it's warm. It's like a red shad kind of color when it's cold. But I like that it's nice and compact. Oh yeah. Oh, it's literally going to change colors when I throw it in. This should be interesting. Look at that. Took my tail right off. Yeah. Oh, oh god. god. We, uh, we both just set the hook and missed our bed fish right there. We got tangled. This is pretty good when you can be sitting in the same area fishing multiple fish.
There we go. Uh, Look at this. Yeah. I'm up here on the old mat. Gave it the old shimmy shake there. Like that's a that's a really cool example when uh, the male just wasn't really eating. When that female came in, he was like, oh gosh, I, I can't let this thing go by. I gotta impress her. Another one right there on that bed. Yeah. We're gonna Smoke get some em. more of these for Smoke you. Em. Stay tuned. Smoke them. Smoke them. Oh, wow, that one right there is I know. And that one's a male and female. Alrighty guys, that was a lot of fun. Um, something else that works is lizards too. You know, that was just a little creature bait. Um, the craws in there as well, that's a good bait. Rob's actually already caught a few fish on that uh, saw craw today. This is a rage lizard, which I've never thrown before. I've thrown a lot of lizards, but never an actual rage lizard. So the next bed fish we find, I'm gonna try this to see how that works. Got another one right here, we're just checking to see. Got that lizard on. Oh, it's it's like right on that lizard. Eat it, eat it. Apologize. Oh. It was swimming with it? It's a bigger one. Yeah. Go. Oh. That's not the bigger one. That's the male. Oh, yeah. There we go. That one attacked it immediately. That was cool. Couldn't even really see the fish. I was just throwing in a blind spot. Yeah. Yep. Better fish. Yeah. Nicely done. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. We have a charger. They go kind of hard on this jig right away. Coming over to it. Good, good view. Okay, got a little wind to battle here as well. Mm. There is a fish on this stump right here. It's got a bed on the stump. This little crawfish on the end of this jig is a nice little, nice little presentation. Kind of stands up. I'm trying to look for the sweet spot right now. I think it's unfortunately right on the back side of the stump where uh, bass like to get tangled up. But that is a nose downer right there. Got him. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Bring him over to me. I got him. Don't worry. Oh. oh. Thanks, Rob. Yeah, I got him. Don't worry. Uh, now that one looks like he's been up there a little bit. Looks like he's seen a few, uh, seen a few days on, on the on the beds so far. You just tell them when they get towards the later end of the spawn, they uh, get a little beat up. Not too bad looking though. Not too bad. Jig right in the face. Oh yeah, see ya. I'm gonna toss this swim bait over in this bed and see what he does. The lizard's just not doing it. I could care less about that thing. I'm just gonna juice this one up. Jeez. Wow. Recording? Yeah, I was recording. Just barely took it. Wow, me and Rob worked on that fish for so long. See you, dude. Little jig. 
we'll see. I think two on the jig and yeah, so it's third fish and one on that little brute. None on that lizard so far. All of them that have seen the lizard inside the bed, they just kind of look at it on the outside. They're not they're not going hard on that lizard. One of my biggest bass I ever caught was on a, on a lizard, nine pounder on a bed. It seems like these smaller bass, like the little compact crawfish looking baits. It's what we're kind of figuring out, but we're still gonna continue to look. I've already said this about a hundred times. If you're a new subscriber, if you don't have polarized sunglasses, you're just not even in the game. Can't even do it. When you take these things off, like there's, it's a huge difference having polarized sunglasses. I wish there was a way that I could really demonstrate that. There's not a, an excellent polarizer out there uh, for the camera lens that really imitates like what I'm seeing. Stick with the small creature baits and see if we can pick up a few more and hopefully see a Mondo. This is a really tricky one. It appears to be very locked. Cannot see the jig at all when I throw it in there. Fish has gone nose down on it, but it's so deep. I can't even see this thing. Let me see that belly roll. Is that almost a zinger? That was almost a zinger. Reaction. Oh. Switch it up, throw that jig. I think it might, it might fully take it now. Get a spider in you. That was weird. It's about to happen. Give it a full send. I'm gonna try this crazy, crazy little uber duber thing again. Oh, golly. Oh, God. Come here. Ah, uh, woo, man, had to work on that one. I wasn't recording. Oh, good. Play got plenty of weird angles though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. That's a fat fish. Fat and healthy fish right there. Nice one, we'll send that one back home. See you, dude. Cool. Well, we find ourselves back at the crib here with the boat off the water. At this point in the video, we're late in the afternoon, but unfortunately, some of that footage was lost. I blame it on Willis, but uh, it, yeah, it was pretty much just my brain. But we really didn't miss out on too much. A lot of the pattern for most of the day was just fishing for males. Some females were paired up and fishing the old baits and the MTB box. And I gotta say, this is the best box I've ever received from Mystery Tackle Box just loaded with good stuff. One of the things I didn't even use in the box that I could use on that jig, this is another really cool thing I'm gonna be using is the brush bands. This is made by one of my idols in the fishing industry, Big O. And he makes this so you can separate the brush guard on your jig, make it easier for the, the hook to go come penetrate. And we really didn't throw the swim bait. In fact, we really didn't get bit on any moving baits. It was all about sight fishing. And from what I've been studying, that is typical on the moon phase going up towards the first three days before the new moon and the full moon we were about five days out from the new moon and the fish were just shut down the males were moving up to do their thing spawn but the fish were not feeding they were just waiting to push up later in the week though things change and we're going to get into that more but if you guys want to pick up one of these juicy boxes like the mtb pro box and maybe even the elite box that they got check them out and use the promo code down in the description to get ten dollars off your first box now stay tuned tomorrow because me and rob are going to be heading to a new lake and then a new lake after that matter of fact just go ahead and subscribe to the channel hit the notification so you don't miss a single bite all year long that's it for today. I will try not to lose any more footage for you guys. Luckily, we didn't lose any real juicy stuff here today. Also, back here with OSG right now, you guys send in some awesome stuff I gotta show you too. So stay tuned for that. I will see you on the next adventure.